we're here to chat about community, building community and schools and districts. So Lindsay, tell me a little bit more about your philosophy of what does community mean to you? You know, I'm pretty specific on, on what community means to me. And community is a huge, important aspect of leadership, whether you're a superintendent, whether you're a communications director, whether you're a teacher, it's about community. And I don't think they really teach us that in our education classes. I think the best way I like to define community is connection. You got to connect people. And that's your that's how you build community is connections. And there's a whole lot of things about communications that come into connections. And the first thing I'm going to say is we all know, we learned early on, we've heard it our whole life, that people make a first impression in the first three seconds. It's not what you say. It's it's the body language. It's the visual. It's, it, it's not the words. You know, it's, it's the tone, but the tone comes out in your words and the tone comes out in your body language. So I think the first way we build community or first way we connect is through our parents. And I'm pretty big on that one. I look, I visit schools and I look at people and sometimes I, I, I'm in these schools and I look and, you know, the biggest employer in many communities is the school district and the superintendent and the principals are the CEOs of the biggest employers in a community. And I look at them sometimes and I'm like, this is not how bankers, this is not how lawyers, this is not how leaders in other, other professions look. We need to look like a leader. And I know that's probably offensive to some people. And I know there's days where we all want to look and be comfortable. But I think mm. I think our appearance is the first thing. So first, it's those first three seconds, how we connect. The second thing about connection is being present. You got to be there. You got to leave your office. You got to show up. You got to be seen. And that's a hard task because we're busy. And in schools, we're busier than we've ever been. And we just have to build that time in where we leave the office. The work's going to sit there. We're going to have to get to it later or eventually, but we've got to go into classrooms. We've got to go out into the community. We've got to go to the coffee shops. We've got to go to churches. We've got to go see the realtors. We've got to go see, we got to go to civic groups. We've got to be seen. And I'll speak of that if you're a superintendent, if, uh, if you're a communications director, if you're a teacher, you can't leave and do those things. But your presence at the grocery stores, your presence at church, your presence at the dollar store, that's a connection you're making. And your appearance is probably the first thing. Um, something I'll bring up, too, is, you know, my mother was a teacher, so I never I never saw or felt that until I was a teacher. But, you know, when you're out in the community and your kids and your kids' parents see you, they're like, oh, there's the teacher. She's in the oh dollar gosh. store. Yeah. You know, she's in the dollar store. She, I mean, she's like a real person. I remember my fr- uh, early years of teaching, I lived in an apartment. And... Uh, I'm coming home from work one day or coming home from school because these teachers, we call it coming home from school. We don't call it coming home from work. And I'm going up the stairs to my apartment and I see one of my students. Oddly enough, her grandmother lived in the apartment next to me. I didn't know it. But the next day at school, it was all over school. You know, Miss Snyder lives in those apartments. She, I saw her. You know, it, was like, it was like a marvel that she lived someplace beside the school. So um, those connections are important there. And then um, there was a third thing about connections I was going to say. And the third one is we all love hearing our name. And the easiest way I think it is to connect with somebody is to say their name to them. And we in public education are in a great position because we have to wear the tags. We have to wear the badges. Our name is written on us. And if you don't (laughs) know a name, sometimes it's about the eye contact. You have to look down really quick to see that, that badge while you're making eye contact. But in the education business, most of us are wearing our name. And so the, the the simplest clue I would give to anybody about connecting, call people by name. Even if you're mm-hmm. in a restaurant and the waitress says, I'm Caressa and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be your waiter today. Say, so thank you, Caressa. Caressa, I'd like water. Use people's names, and that is an automatic connection. And connecting builds community. <laughs>